Okay, this is another kind of informational thing for people who are vacuuming for me. In the previous video I had where I answered a viewer's question about the bubble and webbing on his mold, I mentioned using blocks to catch the webs. We ran this body over. One of the problems was uh, it had webbing in the back, but this was from the first place that it set this up for us. This was their technique of removing webs. We didn't, they didn't know this when they did it, but we didn't need to worry about webs back here because there's the cut line right there. So this is all waste. They put webbing, web catcher back here at a foam block, and this is a perfect example why not to use this material to do this. The adhesive gave out on probably about the sixth pull. It just couldn't handle it. It's so much pressure on it. It has so much surface area um, that it couldn't take it and uh, gave out and stuck in there. And that's not why, we're making this as a bad one, but that's not why it had some too hot a plastic right there, too much too much heat, too much time on the plastic, it webbed up in the corners there. Had to shorten that. But since it was hotter, it formed better around this plastic and then pulled it off, or pulled around this foam and then pulled it off when the mold was removed from, or the plastic was removed from the mold. So there's an example why to use the wooden blocks that screw in rather than these foam and rely on adhesive. You're getting this thing pretty hot, the adhesive, unless it's really rated for it, it's gonna give out. And if you look close on here, you can see there's two pieces of tape. So when they did a run, it came off when they were doing it before originally. So if you're gonna use this method, just know it's not gonna last.